What's up guys and welcome to the channel FWA4. In this video we're going to be doing the amazing Mike Lane's gurney rail uh, floor rails. So here we go. So as you can see these are where the um, where the chairs will go in if it was like an old ambulance. This is where the chairs would be loaded up for the patient to go on to. So what this does is essentially gets rid of this plastic looking rail and it replaces it for this amazing metal looking rail i know it's really hard to see but these are metal and they just look so more uh you know screen accurate than the ones that are on there look at that so they are stuck on as well so the first thing we need to do to install these guys is we need to remove the old ones. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go along and take out all the screws on here. So there are quite a few screws holding it in place. We're going to go remove those and then we'll be back in one sec. This one now taken out, I didn't want to go too far without you guys seeing what it's going to look like with the metal ones in place. So these are the Mike Lane ones. Quite hard to sort of focus on to see them because they're so detailed but as you can see they are metal and they have like the screw holes but there's no screws they're just going to be stuck down so what you need to do is do your test fit first so just pop one in place they want to be able to cover up the screw holes that are already there make sure you get it in line and then when you're kind of happy with the fitment and you know where it's going to go it's gonna look like that. So, but when you're ready to go and do it, you just need to peel off the back and stick it down. So we're gonna go do that right now. So just let me peel the back off and I'll show you. Just need to get the edge. So if you see here, you just need to peel this section here and then peel it right down. It's very sticky, so. It's very sticky, so you should be fine. And then lining it up, what we're going to do is we're just going to put it in line with this one. Oh, we're just going to put it in line with this one and make sure it's covering all the screw holes that are there. Make sure that it's pushed down enough. We don't want to push it into place until we know it's down enough. And then once we're happy with the location, then we can just go along and then push it down into place. There you go. So then that, that is exactly where it's gonna be. We're gonna go ahead and uh, remove these ones and then we'll do one, one, one in one every time until it's stuck in place. Right, this one is now removed. So this is another plastic one. And a good way of seeing how to do these for the Mike Lane uh, gurney rails is gonna be, if you look at this bottom section here, you'll see there's one, they're all little dots where the floor is, how it is. So there's little dots everywhere. If you just do one dot from the end, you know that you got one dot and then you should continue and follow that line round. There should be an even amount of dots in between the middle of it so you know it's straight so what you want to do is just follow it and make sure that the dots in the middle there is a row of dots in the middle and then the next one that's going to go in is going to go up to that row as well and then make sure that you've just got one singular row of dots all the way down the middle we're just going to go peel the next rail and then get that into place so i'm just peeling that quickly now as you can see you just peel off the tape like so and then we want to put it into position and then what we're going to do one dot from the end which is just there as it goes down we're just going to go on top of those singular dots and then make sure that there's a row all the way down the edge if you've got it in you want to put it down a little bit more you can just don't push down on it yet just put it into position and then go again and then once you're happy with the positioning which i am going to be in one moment then just run your finger down the middle of it sort of following the channel as you push down and then you'll see 
that that looks absolutely mint absolutely perfect look at that so we've got one row down the bottom and we're one off from here so you don't need to worry about this end because as long as you're one off from this you're going to be fine so there's one dot here follow that all the way down make sure it's nice and straight and that's going to sit in there it just looks so much better than the plastic so that you can see the before and after just looks incredible so we're going to continue uh, to do the other side uh, we'll speed up taking the screws out and then we'll come back in a sec the last gurney rail finally off we just need to take that out of the way so that's a plastic one and then we're just going to finish off the amazing mike lane gurney rail here so i'm just going to see if i can peel and finish this one just in front of you just to show you so we're just going to peel that off and then we're going to be one before the end there we just need to go over the top of that one and then we just need to follow it down and make sure it's covering up those holes just there and then once it's in position and we're happy we just need to push down all the way around and there you have it mike lane mods how incredible is that completely different to how it was a minute ago with those other ones this just looks so much better so there you go guys that is how you install the gurney floor rails by mike lane i hope you liked this video as much as i did making it for you please like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one take care now bye bye